Hi, we're here today to talk about the uh, one of the newest products from Fitness Answer Training Products. Uh, it is the 23-piece uh, resistance tube band set. Um, it it's 23 pieces if you include all the everybody on Amazon always wants to include all the smallest things. Uh, it's a seven band kit. Each band is a uh, has a snap root cover. I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but then it comes with um, a, a carrying bag, four separate carabiners. It has four workout anywhere straps, uh, the door mount strap, two or four handles, and two ankle straps. Um, I think I said everything. Uh, the if we're if we're going to talk about uh, one of the bands in, in, in individually, uh, each one of them come with and, and they say what size they are. This is the largest one, 35 pounds. Uh, they each come with a snap-proof cover. And you see it stretches out to allow the band to actually have it stretch. Uh, a benefit to it is it's going to, it's not, it's not only going to keep it from snapping. Snapping meaning when you're in, when you actually have it, uh, resistance fight against it, if it breaks, to have the potential of snapping you in the face or breaking things off of your shelves or whatever. Uh, it's also going to keep you from overstretching this, which is going to cause it uh, to potentially break sooner. Um, so the... The snap proof cover is definitely a very good bargain. Uh, there are some online that they go for up $200, so ours are far more cost efficient. We're definitely, we definitely have the right price on Amazon, so I think you're going to be happy about that. Um, even other seven piece kits that don't have any anti snap uh, covering or protected, uh, they go upwards of $50. So um, we're, we're definitely very competitive in the market. Um, quickly, so to, to talk about the workout inward straps. Uh, four included. Two of them are the are the, the shortest ones. Are actually meant to be used in conjunction with one, one of the four carabiners that you have. So you can see that this one is looped through the shortest end and it can be removed, like so. So it, it would go in the shortest end where the shortest stitching is. And in order to use it, what you would do is. Uh, find your anchoring point, you would lap around it, and then back through the band itself. Just have a, a tie off, and then now you're anchored to whatever point you want, and then you connect your band through the carabiner. And you can either put a handle on one end of it, or you can uh, attach multiple, multiple bands to this. Uh, you can put your ankle strap at the end of the resistance band so you can do. Uh, like glute kicks or uh, side extensions, things like that. So that's the two shorter bands, or the workout anywhere straps. And then you have two others. Uh, these two are intended to work like the uh, door anchor. I already have one up here, but I'll show you these. Uh, these are intended, and what I mean by working like the door anchor is they have the large hole here. These, these work to, uh, you pass the entire band through it and then pull the band in half and you use both your left and right hands to work on it. I'll show you that. But again, so the, the door mount and the larger workout air straps, you pass the entire band through and then and pull it in half and then use both handles. So it's, it's for using both sides of your body's, body to do a workout. Um, to set up your workout anywhere strap, we use this basketball uh, as your anchor point uh, to you know replicate the size of a tree or something in your backyard um, all you do is pass this around I recommend taking the uh, the shorter or the, well the longer end and passing it through the shorter end and that's going to give you plenty of room to lap your bands through um, so again you just pull it nice and tight Pass your bands through, and then you'll be able to do a workout from uh, from your backyard, or if you you can pass this over the truss in your garage, uh, around the leg of the table in the kitchen, whatever whatever you need to. Um, again, it's just a way of attaching the bands. It's about any anchor point that you can think of. Uh, to talk a little bit more in depth on the, uh, the door mount, uh, it's important that you always Make sure that you put this foam piece, large foam piece, on the side of the door to which it swings. So if the door swings open this way, you want the foam piece to be on that side of the door. 
Um, that's important because if you put it on the outside side, then all you're doing is relying on your door handle to hold your entire weight or the weight of however the heavy, how heavy the bands are if you're leaning against it plus the band. So uh, make sure that this is on the side of the door to where it swings open because then you're using the frame of the door to support all the weight, not just the door lock itself or the door knob. So very important uh, piece of information. Uh, and like I said, I already have one of these workout anchor straps lapped yourself up here. So if we're going to show you how that works, you take your orange resistance band, for instance, place it all the way through. So this would be the same way that you'd use the door mount as you put it through. And what I mean by going in half, just like this. You have the band and you have your two handles and place them on the D-rings. Okay, so from this point, uh, you're going to want to make sure you find the center point of, of, the, of the covers because the covers, the way that uh, they're rippled on the, the band, uh, they can become off-center. So all you have to do to find out where they're at is pull them, they stretch them as far as they go. You see the right one actually stretches farther than the left. So we want to move the band to the left inside or work out anywhere strap. Try it again. Okay, now it's centered up. So you can do things like reverse flies. So you can do it like a lat row. You can spin around. And then do things like a chest fly. Super easy. Uh, just a quick tip on when you work out, uh, especially from the beginning, always think about um, using time under tension. So it, you'll get more work accomplished if you are taking longer to do the rep. You don't want to take longer when you're doing the rest, not going to benefit you. But for instance, if you do a one second push, squeeze as tight as you can for two seconds, so we're already at three seconds when you're on the way back, one, two, three, pause, and then push again. So one second push, two second hold, one, two, and then three second eccentric or on the way back, or the easy part. And then push, one, two, control, one, two, three, on the way back. Again, it's just a small tip. Take a grain of salt if you don't like this style, but it's definitely going to be far more beneficial, especially if you're a beginner. Um, all right, moving on. Um, all right, so if you're going to use the bands, uh, for instance, on the ground without anything, you would do the same thing. We'll use the green straps or green handles. We we'll use the green band just because it looks nice together. Okay, so for instance, if you're just going to do a bicep curl, you don't need to work out anywhere you have, you don't need the door mount, you can just step on the center of the band. So pull the handles evenly, locate the middle of it, step on it, and then go ahead and test to see, see how the left goes higher. So again, you want to readjust, step to the left a little bit, it's going to shorten up a little more. Okay, so now it's nice and easy. So, when you bicep curls here, ultra simple, you can go straight from this point into a shoulder press. Alright, so um, uh, just for, for a reference point, I'm 6'3, I have fairly long arms. Um, the bands right at the peak are just maxing out. So. Uh, for anybody 6'2 and under, this isn't going to be an issue at all. Um, for any guy, anybody 6'3 and over, uh, the, the bands that don't have the covering might be better for you. Um, I don't want to word you away from these because you can do everything except for a full overhead press uh, and not have to worry about the length of it being an issue. Uh, but the covering, again, it, it's the, the rewards from it uh, outweigh 
uh, the, the the downfalls by far. So uh, outside of that, uh, one extra thing that you can do, or another thing we should go over, are the ankle straps. So for instance, with the ankle straps, you can actually keep both carabiners on, and this is, this is going to be doubling the weight. So uh, it'll it'll shorten it so you don't feel like you're so far away from the equipment. Okay, so use the ankle strap. Just unvelcro it. So put it around your ankle. And then don't put it back through. Um, you let's use the workout one of the workout anywhere straps. So let's use this one. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. We're going to pass the short or the, uh, the the big one through the smallest one. Put the bandage in the middle. And attach these to the right. Again, so whatever the weight is on your band, this is actually going to double it. So if we're going to do a, a kickback, we'll just push all the way back. So this is a hamstring glute exercise. Uh, I recommend dragging your toe right against the ground. Don't actually touch, but just try to keep it parallel with the ground all the way through the extension. Um, if if you want to, you can use one band at a time and just stack them all together. However you want to do it. So here I ha have it worked in half, so you're actually using double the amount of resistance. So you're using the resistance twice, um, but you can actually use the uh, strap with one of the workout anywhere straps. And this, in this instance, you would want to put it through the, the small end. First, you want to wrap all around. So take the small one, wrap it through the big one, and attack it. Again, so this is going to make it really long, so you're probably not going to want to do it in this configuration, but Again, you just push all the way back the same way. All right, so I feel like that's a, a really good basic overview on how you can use a product. Uh, it should be enough, definitely good enough to get you going. Uh, hopefully it's convinced you to make the purchase if you haven't already decided. Um, and then when you join at fitnessanswer.com, you will actually be able to ask the questions that we want you to ask. We want you to ask questions on how to use our products. Uh, specifically, for instance, we have some questions on um, like how to, what different bicep drill or bicep workouts you can do with a resistance band. So we're going to start those uh, those videos first. So the sooner you get your videos in, I mean, I want to shoot videos every day if we can. So ask all the questions you can. We'll try to shoot videos to help you out, and everybody's going to benefit from it. So thank you again for your purchase, or if you haven't purchased yet. Hope you do, and we'll see you soon.